Opera is the one inherited art form, which is having a fantastic revival with young composers, of something that can't be reproduced effectively. So, given the enormous interest in opera, Summer Scape has, from the start, done an opera in the hopes that it will draw a not only regional, but a national and international audience. When we think what opera to do, we say, well, what, what's one that's related to the music festival, the Barton Music Festival? So, with Vaughan Williams as the composer, uh, we decided to look at England in a way from the outside, and we chose an opera that really deserves to be in the repertory. It's not a curiosity, but it's a great opera, by Camille Sanson, the author of Samson and Delilah. I think this is a far more um, engaging opera. And turns out he wrote an opera, which premiered in 1883, on the life of Henry VIII. But it connects to Vaughan Williams because um, Sanson took the trouble of not sim simply writing imaginary folk songs. He actually did some research about what kind of music existed in the time of Henry VIII. The great thing about the life of Henry VIII is that you don't have to explain the story to anybody. Even if they don't know they were, there was more than one beheading, uh, Anne Boleyn wasn't the only wife to have her head cut off um, by Henry, but they know there's some head cutting off and there's and there are a lot of wives. And they probably know if you stop them on the street that Anne Boleyn was Elizabeth I's mother, and that there is some intrigue involved here. In addition, his first wife was um, a Catholic princess. His divorce from her, which was very controversial, and the cause celebre and the sort of spark that ignited the English Reformation. It was no longer a Europe of a single Christendom, but suddenly it's a Europe which is at each other's throat about the matters that seem to mean the most, which is my salvation, my damnation, and the sort of theological structure of the universe. And the story ends, of course, with um, Catherine graciously burning the evidence against Anne Boleyn as having been unfaithful to Henry. Of course, everybody knows it's of no avail. I happen to regard it as more persuasive, more beautiful, more compelling as a story than Samson, which is the one opera by Samson, I wrote many, that has remained in the repertory. It's the first full American stage production. The story of Henry VIII has two essential qualities which make it a successful opera. It has love and death. It'll be a glorious and wonderfully sung show with young singers. I think the audience will love it. <laughs>